Fox 29 News in HD. You know, perhaps nothing screams how unique you are. What makes you tick like a tattoo? It's a bold and personal choice. It certainly is. It's also permanent. <laughs> At least it's supposed to be. Used to be. Joyce Evans, though, is here with how people are getting rid of their tattoos. Joyce? Hey, guys. Well, what to do when it's no longer you? Like many things in life, tattoos are easier to get than they are to get rid of. Gone are the days when folks may have had one special image or message inked someplace on their body where few people got to see. The bolder, the beautiful these days, right? Maybe until you get older and wiser and no longer it's so loud and proud. It no longer resonates with me. The more the years went by, the more unhappy with it I was. And I've been hiding it with bracelets. So uh, now I just want it off. I'd rather have a scar than to see this anymore. That's where I was getting to the point. Well, they're not the only ones desperate to erase that not so cool tattoo anymore, but can you completely erase permanent ink? We're gonna show you what you have to do to zap that tat. That's tonight on the Fox 29 News at 10. Carrie. Zap that tat. All right, we'll see you then, Joyce. Thank you. Coming up, also, if you are rethinking perhaps some of the body art that you made a commitment to back in your youth, listen up. Tattoos that seemed way cool maybe as a college kid not so much for your grown-up career. Zapping tats fast, coming up. Thank you. Coming up next, the biggest boom to business when it comes to tattoos. Why so many people are taking part in this latest trend. Joyce Evans is zapping tats fast, coming up. How it's done when we come right back. Let's talk health right now. Business apparently could not be better for tattoo artists, and a lot of the work is actually quite stunning. Yeah, but now buyer's remorse is even bigger business to erase those works of beautiful art. Fox 29's Joyce Evans reports. Ink. This will be my third. This is a cover up. This may not be your thing but it seems everybody's got at least one these days. Oh, yeah. Tree of life. Uh, yeah. A special meaning for a special time in Michelle Polino's life. That was then. How about now? I want the tree out of my life. Um, it no longer resonates with me. That's okay. very unprofessional. That's how Susan McDowell feels about the rose tattoo she got 20 years ago. The more the years went by, the more unhappy with it I was. And I've been hiding it with bracelets. But not very well. And Michelle, she's just tired of wearing those three-quarter length sleeves. So uh, now I just want it off. Everybody's going to have to wear glasses. Dr. Eric Bernstein with the laser and the getup to carefully erase even the most elaborate works of permanent ink. We will use the longest wavelength laser that will see the black ink in the tattoo, but ignore the pigmentation of skin. Cover the area with a special protective film. Here we go. Then laser on. So I can actually see the ink interacting with the laser light. The laser will not affect the surrounding skin. But he says brown skin or skin that has been tanned makes it much harder to get the shading right. Some vibrant colors also tough. Take Susan's unwanted tattoo. The black ink was no problem. The more difficult part is getting rid of the blue, the green, and we need another laser for that. Now there's some white in this tattoo. White can turn gray or black and then not come out very easily. Susan bleeds from just the numbing needle. She's already been through a nightmare trying to get rid of it before she got to Dr. Bernstein. See how it's turning white? And that doesn't mean it's disappearing. Those are bubbles in the skin, but that's what we like to see. This is laser session number three for Susan, and she'll probably need three more to erase that tat that costs less than a hundred bucks. The laser sessions are costing her 500 each. It's worth it to me. It's a backup. I'd rather have a scar than to see this anymore. That's where I was getting to the point. Zach Perino is already there. Do you know of or have any products that can cosmetically just diminish the look of the scar? Oh, yeah. He had Dr. Stephen Davis cut one of the stars out of his arm, then pull the skin together and stitch it up. That hurt? 
they injected me locally, and so it didn't, there was no pain. I was awake the whole time. Sounds drastic, but at 23 years old, this former metalhead guitarist is now climbing the corporate ladder. He's going for a promotion, and he says he couldn't wait the weeks or months of lasering to erase that star that was peeking out from his shirt sleeve. The difference between a scar versus a tattoo, no one's going to question you if you have a scar. It's cheaper. I'm expecting it to be like a nice white line when it's all finished. Not so nice are the possible negative results. The inks are not FDA regulated, and most patients have no idea what's in it until they try to remove it. And the tattoo actually got darker, and when they investigated it a little more, they did find out that the tattoo artist used a metallic type of a thing. So can you remove it or not? I think you have to almost cut it out. Oh, that just looks painful, doesn't it? Well, Joyce reports that it cost Jack a little more than $1,000 to get that star cut from his wrist. He'll keep his other tattoos, and Dr. Davis says others may have no choice. Tattoo ink, is not FDA regulated, so it may contain metal and other properties that could scar or look even worse when you try to remove them. Now, from your weather authority.